What's going on guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games. Today on SAO, Alicization Rise and Steel, we're going to take on the Cathedral Assault on normal mode. Now, you guys have been asking me to do this and to make a guide on it. Well, the thing is, they have a how to play. I mean, you can read the how to play, right? That's that's a thing. No, but in, in all honesty, um, I'm getting a phone call. In all honesty... At, Damn, chill. Okay. You know what? You know what, phone? Stop, stop, stop. Like, stop. Why is it gotta do that? Why you gotta be like that for? Stop. Okay. So, the differences between normal and hard mode. I just clicked on normal. Yeah. The differences between normal and hard mode is that in hard mode, I believe you have. Um, you have a limit, limited amount of turns that you can do, I think. Oh, no, it's in both. Okay, it's in both. So, let's go ahead. We're going to do normal mode. Because you guys wanted to see this. Now, the way that, that you should run this, if you're having trouble, honestly, is you should be bringing at least two to three teams, if possible. So, that way you can have enough units to be able to run the events now you need to have them geared up so if you don't have them geared up make sure you take them over to this event over here <sighs> equipment creation event and run this event until you have your characters leveled up and geared up enough to be able to go and challenge the cathedral because you're gonna be like i said you're gonna need to have your characters geared up in order to do this so gear your characters up doesn't matter if the elements match or not and let's go into battle prep. Now, you want to have different teams. Like I said, uh, you want to have one team that is basically your strong team and your other team that's kind of just, you know, there. So for my first team, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to save Mini Tortellini there. I'm going to save her and I'm going to save Yuzio. Basically save my water units for the, the final boss fight, which is a fire dragon. So instead, I'm going to bring everybody else. So we're going to go with... Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll run Yuki in that. That's fine. I'll, I'll keep Ronnie there. Instead of Alice, I don't want to uh, use up Alice yet. We'll go with fake Alice here. And then for sub members, we're not going to go with Sachi. We're going to go with uh, mini Alice and not Selk. I'm going to go with this chick right here. All right. So we're going to run this. Oh, I didn't finish doing this. Let me unlock all really quick. Boom. That's done. And then for her, same thing. Unlock all. No, no, no. Stop that. Sorry, I thought I did this. All right, she's good. All right, so we're going to run this with this team right here. Um, my biggest damage dealer is going to be Yuki and maybe Ronnie. But we're going to run through this right now. So let's go and do it. Start quest. Now, it doesn't take any AP to run. So feel free to try as many times as you want. But like I said, you want to have multiple teams in order to do this. Stop with the auto. It decided to do auto. Now, obviously, like, my, char my character is going to be way over-leveled right now. But that's not a bad thing. Like, level up as much as you can. You level them up to level 80 and then challenge a cathedral event. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It makes it easier. Now, if you do want to complete the missions, then obviously don't put it on auto. Because you put it on auto, then it's like, okay, well, they might not build up their incarnate gauge fast enough. So, you know, to complete the mission, you have to do... Your incarnate gauge at least one time. Let me lower the volume on this. This is a little bit loud. So you have to do your incarnate gauge at least one time to be able to complete the mission. So just keep that in mind when you're running through the event. I think I think the audio is better now. Should be better. Okay. So, like I said, run through this. Bring bring two or three teams so that way in case they die. In case they run out of turns, you know, you have different options to bring. Also, level up your water units. Like, don't don't ignore your three-star water units if that's all you got. Don't forget to grind out Mini Tortellini because she's a water unit. She'll help tremendously. Alright, so first fight was an easy fight. Second fight is en uh, enemy level 50. Third is 60, 70, and then finally 80. So we're going to keep running through this. It's going to, like I said, it's, I'm over leveled. Oh, look, Yuki leveled up. Sweet. 
I needed that. Yay. All right. So we're going to continue going through here. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to leave it on auto so that way I can talk to you guys while we run this. So, Volo is a good option to bring because Volo does decent damage for a 3 star and he's a water unit. So, don't forget to level up Volo to be able to use him. Mini Tortellini, like I said, she's a very good, very good free to play unit in this type of fight. She heals, she does damage. She, I mean, like, there's nothing bad about her because she's a free four star you know and you can max her out for free you can get it to level 100 and like max out everything for free without using any other shards except for her own limit breaking shards so don't waste any materials as far as the limit breaks go on mini tortellini like you can go ahead and do it completely for free um mini alice same thing but the thing is with mini alice you need to beat this in order to limit break her so it's kind of like a, a, a mix between the two for mini Alice. But free Alice, the uh, the pirate Alice, is very usable in this in this type of situation because she's a tank. She can provoke. She can prevent the enemies from attacking your healers and stuff like that. So free to play Alice or you know the pirate Alice is good in this type of situation. Uh, which I said before that you know because people ask me is pirate Alice any good. And I, I say no, but there is there are situations that you could use her and she'd be good in that type of situation. This is one of those situations that she would be good because she does provoke. So, you got Pirate Alice, you got uh, Midi Tortellini, you got Volo, you got um, that Rapier user. I forgot what his name is. But you got that Rapier user that's, that's a three-star that you can use as well. Um, plus, you got free-to-play. Not free-to-play. You got, uh, well, I mean, yeah, free-to-play free to play mini alice that you can use and um and what else you got I'm trying to think like who else who else there is to use um i mean you have you have other three stars that you can use so if you need a healer you got selka you got sachi uh if you know mini alice is a healer like i said mini tortellini here is a healer as well but she's single target where selka is a aoe sachi's aoe so keep that in mind Sometimes it's good to run more than one healer because of that. So I would honestly recommend doing so. Uh, and then whatever four-star unit that you have. So bring your four-star units. Try to save your four-star units if you're like limited on your four-star units. So say if you only have one or two four-star units, then maybe kind of just save them for the boss fight themselves. Try to try to climb the tower without using your four-stars. So that way when you get to the boss fight, you're like, all right. I'm going to throw in my heavy hitters and we're going to end this man's life right now. And that's that's why you go and you use your uh, you use your four star units on the final fight. Hard mode's a little bit trickier because hard mode is harder. Uh, plus the enemy levels are much higher, so the fights are a little bit trickier in hard mode when it comes to being able to uh, to run this. So I haven't finished hard mode yet. When I do, I will go ahead and do a video regarding hard mode for you guys. Uh, because to me hard mode has a lot more strategy in it as far as bringing certain units because you have to grind out your other units and that's what i've been doing i've been grinding out my other units to get ready for hard mode because so far i in hard mode i've only cleared the first half of it and then i ran out of turns and i didn't have any more units to bring so i was like okay i need to redo that and i need to rebuild my teams and i need to level up weaker units that can actually be useful so another thing to keep in mind is just team building so you want to make sure that you have some synergy in your teams right now this team has like little to no synergy okay this team is i just put together as a throwaway team to climb because we're going to change the team when we get to actual boss fight like the the dragon we're going to change the team but this team has like no synergy because yuki's selfish she does nothing to buff the team um Pirate Alice, yeah, she she has she's got the provoke. Selka, not Selka. Um, I'm sorry, Ronnie. Yeah, so Ronnie can heal. Ronnie can do damage, but there's no one's like really buffing anybody here. It's it's not like you know, it's not like I'm using uh, Asuna to buff the attack of the party or lower the defense of the enemy. I mean, I'm not doing any of that, right? So I'm just kind of just running it right now, just to show you guys that I'm running it. All right, so we got one more floor and then the boss fight. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep going at this um if they die okay so if your characters die and they get down status in order to restore their down status you have to use those little uh those little 
uh, bread buns or whatever it is that you see down there you use those and that will resurrect your characters so that way you can go ahead and continue to run it um i just noticed something here hold on there we go that's better so you uh you use those <coughs> sorry that snuck up on me you use those buns in order to restore your characters from down status. Those buns will not restore your character's turns, by the way. So if your character has no turns left, those buns will not restore that. So keep that in mind. It only restores down status. So if, for, if, for example, you... Like, one of your four-star characters died early. And you're like, damn, I should have saved it for the boss fight then you could use that bun to restore their down status and bring them like basically resurrect them give them a phoenix down or whatever you want to call it and that way you have those characters again for the boss fight but you can only do it six times right so it limits you to resurrecting six characters so keep that in mind as well that's why it's kind of important to bring um, as many healers as you can. Why aren't they doing any of incarnate attacks? Like, I have that, that gauge is full. Why aren't you doing an incarnate attack? What's wrong with you? Do, do your incarnate attack. I don't care who you are. Just do it. Alright. So, that's why it's important to bring healers. To make sure that you're able to run this and keep everybody's health healthy. Um, that way you, you don't run, you don't have to use those those uh phoenix i'm gonna call them phoenix downs so you don't have to use those phoenix downs and not you know you don't have to worry about it at that point you're good to go right so you need to like i said you need to keep your heels up also your hp and your mp carry over so if your character has half of their health by the end of the fight they will still have half of their health when they continue the fight like when they go to the next uh, floor or whatever. Whatever their MP is, that will be what their MP is on the next floor. Alright. So now we're going to go to the boss fight. So we're going to battle prep. We're going to change our team here. So now I want to show you the team that I would normally use. And that is Kirito. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're going to build the team right now. So I'm going to use Yujio. I'm going to use Mini Tortellini. We're going to go... Let's do this with Volo. Um, do I have this guy powered up? Uh, let's see. Yes, he is. But he, he doesn't have a weapon. Or it says she. That's a she. My bad. That, that's my bad. My bad. She. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to hear a lot of crap on that one. All right. Why didn't it? Come on now. Mini Tortellini. We're going to go with the healer. In this case, I'm going to go with Leafa just because she's a strong healer for me. Um, and then we're gonna go with so I could throw Alice in here and like call it a day But I'm not going to so we're gonna throw mini Alice and actually no We'll do this There we go. That's our team. This is the team that we're gonna use Uh, Do I have a weapon for him? I gotta have a weapon for him. I do there we go and I gotta throw some armor on him, too Hmm steal that armor yeah it's fine all right yes yes that's fine okay so everybody else has got their armor and everything so we're good to go let's do this we're gonna go on and fight like i said don't uh don't skip out on using volo because he might be a three star he might his max level might be 70 but he's very usable welcome to the family hey and we got a subscriber while i was filming john Mus marcelino thank you very much for subscribing appreciate it welcome family son all right, so no, 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 we take auto off. Take off auto. Because this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, and this is why I said you got to have synergy when you're doing your fights. All right? So with Leafa, we're going to be able to increase our charge. So, boom, she's going to increase the charge. Now, on this boss fight, which I didn't mention, he's... I should have mentioned it. At, at some point, he will uh, increase his... Um, his incarnate... So, if you can bring break characters, I suggest you bring the break characters or power through the fight. I'm going to power through the fight. I have one break character, which is Volo. Other than that, we're going to power through this fight. Like it's nobody's business. Alright? So, that's what we're going to do. Just going to go ahead and charge. I need I need some epic boss fight music. Hold on. Let's get some epic boss fight music. Uh, Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Alright. 
Gotta have like the epic boss fight music or else it just doesn't work. Alright, so I'm gonna power through it because the two the two ways that you can do this on normal is you can power through it or you can break him when he starts to build up his break. I'm gonna power through it for the most part and uh, and just do it that way. He has two assaults. Oh, because he's got an AoE. And inflicts provoke for one turn. That's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's do that. The fact that he has provoke, that is not a bad thing. Okay. So, Leafa doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to heal them. He's not going to kill them, but just in case. Because, I mean, we take damage every turn because of we got, we're burned. So, I'm going to heal with Leafa. Hellfire, Dragon's Power. See, there goes the Incarnate. All right. Provoke War Off. Well... Go screw yourself. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna just attack him and power through. Hopefully, we can break him a little bit. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Rapid bites. That's not bad damage for Mini Tortellini. I haven't. That's the first time I'm using her actually, like legit using her. Get him, Yuzio. All right, you break. Now, with Ronnie, I could use Ronnie and increase how much break he can do. So, if I if I throw in Ronnie here and enhance Volo, then that's what will happen. Like, he'll do extra break damage. All right, so in this case... Ooh, ooh, can I, uh... Ooh, can I get can I get Yuzio? There we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta do my incarnate with Yuzio. He's my strongest hitter. I gotta do it. Or else, what's the point? The whole point is to fight him. So you want to be able to do your incarnate gauge with your strongest attack. So or your water characters, essentially. That is epic boss battle music. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna assault from here. And he's gonna break. Because I'm gonna keep that break going. Do your rapid bite. Go, mini tortellini. 9k? That's not bad. I mean, it's a crit. Final attack. Alright. So, he's almost broken too. He's broken enough that we'll be okay. You know? He's pissed. He's pissed off. But look, he's broken enough. 88%. We're going to be okay. So, we're going to heal. Just to top everybody off. And then here we go. We're gonna go ahead and mm, let's let's keep building our charge gauge, just in case. <coughs> Sorry, snuck up on me again. All right, Mr. Volo, break him some more, and that should be enough, really. <coughs> Yeah, okay, so he's, he's doing it again. There he goes. So basically, he resets his incarnate gauge. That's fine. You prioritize the high HP characters. Nothing wrong with that. Do that. How many turns do I got left? I got 25 turns. Oh, no, that's just how many turns I've taken. Okay. All right, so this should put us, yeah, all right. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take Volo, I'm just gonna defend, so that way he can get his turn and we can get a four person, uh, a four person incarnate gauge, or incarnate attack, I should say. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go, oh, he's gonna do his incarnate attack right here. 
But we're gonna finish him off. Watch. Come on. Come on. Give me mini tortellini. Do it. I'm gonna keep doing it until it happens. Don't make me do an incarnate attack with Volo. Oh my god, you're gonna make me do it. You're gonna make me do it. Oh, you make me do it. You know what? I'd rather do it with Leafa. If I'm gonna, I, you know what? I'd rather, it's gonna force me to do it. I'm gonna for, I'm do it with Leafa. Get him, Leafa. You know what? Th I think that's enough. I think that's enough. <clears throat> Should be able to kill him here. Let's see. Let's see it. Uh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I think between uh, Mini Tortellini and Yujio, he's dead though. Yeah, he's done. They're not showing his HP anymore. He's done. And there we go. That's it, guys. That's it. That's on normal mode. Now, when I beat hard mode, then we'll do that. I have to beat it first. I haven't done that yet. But I will. So, I hope you guys found the video somewhat helpful. I, I do. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. All of that stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I will finish hard mode. I just don't know when yet. Peace out, guys.